the Java NetBean tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to create, uh, develop uh, a for loop using some of the Java NetBean component. I just call it for for loop. So I'm going to uncheck the create main clause because I don't need that. Let's click on the uh, finish. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is right click on my file, go to new, select JFrame form right there. So let's call it, uh, um, let's just call it uh, time, time for you. Okay, that's what I'm going to be calling my file or the class name and uh, the package name. I'll call it time for loops next and I just click on OK now that my frame is ready I'm gonna be using the uh, text frame paste it right there and uh, maybe just uh, enhance it and uh, one button paste that button right there or uh, maybe I should just add uh, the title or heading up there somewhere okay. so for the heading I'm going to change the text to for loop tutorial there. So I might as well increase the font size. Let's go for something. Yeah, that's fine. 36. Yeah, that's all right. For loop tutorial. And in here, let's increase the font size as well. I'm just going to make that bold 24. My button right here. I make that about 24 as well. So the next thing I'll do is uh, just enter some data in there for the button. Maybe just call it uh, um, loop. Okay, that's fine. Uh, maybe I should just move this thing a little bit more. Bring the button right here. Okay, and let me go to the code and just change the name of the button to BTN loop. The name of this uh, text area I call that. Let me just call that TXT area. TXT area. And that is it. The next thing I would do is to right click on the button and go to the event action, action performed. And right here, right here if you guys can see that I'll change that to 4 into I equals 1 I less than and equals to 12 semicolon I plus plus close the bracket enter my call braces and right here I'm now going to say txt area dot append append i and plus because I want a space in there I will like the i my output to go to the next line enter a semicolon right there so and that's it for my for loop what will happen is the first time I go around the loop the system go around the loop it will give you one and up to twelve. So what I'll do now is let me build my system. So now run the program. Okay. So all I need to do now is just press this button and what you guys will see is number one to twelve. So I think uh, I'm gonna have to to increase the size of this form okay, you guys can see that it's one good thing about uh, the frame you can see the frame actually increases All right so and that's how you create a for loop using uh, a GUI interface a graphical user interface but my next tutorial what I'll do is I will actually convert this whole uh, tutorial into a multiplication timetable 
so I suppose you guys will have a look at that too so let me just call it a, a day for now while I continue work on the, the second tutorial so bye for now